Well, I believe that uh, hope, hope and change, these are the two driving factors in everybody's lives. And when uh, President Barack Obama's campaign hinged on these two words, I was inspired. And uh, we are so much, uh, I mean, it's such a basic human value and expectation. And uh, these, these words have resonated with me and led me to, to meet up with Roger Fisk and bring him to Malaysia to, to speak with us and share his experiences about the campaign. I think we see a lot of similarities. Uh, I think the central core message DAP had in their slogans was just change it. Uh, it was a central message for change. And then we had three underlying key messages that we harped throughout the entire campaign uh, that gained traction, that had the local feel, that had the, 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 the issues that will bring about the, the ties with the people. We focus on inflation, uh, the cost of living that was rising very, very fast. We focus on corruption, all the leakages that is coming out from, from the government's tax coffers. And we focus on crime which was one of the issues that was affecting a lot of people, particularly in the urban sectors where our key constituencies are. So the messages are there. Uh, we do try to bring in some of the more, what do you call it, new media elements. Uh, we have our team songs, we have our uh, campaigns via the emails, via SMS, via uh, blogs, via uh, Facebook, and so on. So we had all these things. But what impressed me most about today's session is the sheer scale of it. I mean, they, 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 we, we, we had the ideas, we had the messages, we brought it out to maybe <coughs> from 1 to 5. What they did is they brought it from 1 to maybe 30, where, where, where they, they, they organized it in total professional manner. They have people organize, I mean, they have a team of people just organizing events, they have a team of people organizing messages. Well, I think that, that also shows the, the sheer, sheer difference in terms of skill. Uh, and, and operations that they had and you can understand why they need to meet, raise uh, hundreds of millions in order to run their campaign because it's, it's really just huge. As for here, us here, we, we try to run our campaign well within the hundreds of thousands uh, type, type scenario. Yeah. Uh, as somebody who is very active on the internet, I have followed the Obama campaign. Very interesting, very fresh how they have done it so far. Unfortunately, I don't think that can be done in Malaysia because uh, number one, we don't have a product like Obama. <laughs> and uh, in order to pull something off like what Roger Fish was saying that you know they were getting money 10, 20 bucks from the people, you know, you need a lot of uh, transparency in your uh, auditing, in your, account, in your accounting. And uh, transparency alone, I don't think that is manageable in Malaysia, be it in the ruling coalition or the opposition parties. La. Hopefully that will change, but you know, I'm optimistic, but maybe not in my lifetime. It was, it was a great talk, a great presentation, but what uh, Roger Fisk presented and said uh, for, a, for a variety of reasons is not applicable to Malaysia. Uh, primary among them, I, I would say, is the collection of funds, election funds. Uh, people took out their wallets and credit cards and paid $10 and $25 to attend these meetings. But in Malaysia it will never happen because people get paid for attending these rallies or meetings. That is the key issue here.